in God. So Peter was definitely moved by the Holy Spirit when he spoke those words, you are the Christ. But unfortunately, it is the same Peter who begins to remonstrate with Christ because he spoke of his coming passion and death. It was a painful topic, the fact that Christ would die, and Peter did not want to hear it. But then Christ, seeing the bad example Peter was giving to the Many today speak of Christ as a great man, an extraordinary prophet, and so on. But they stop short of calling him the Son of God. Even Christians within the church who are meant to believe in the divinity of Christ do not preach Christ crucified. Imbued with the spirit of the world, they are afraid, they are ashamed, of the cross of Christ. Today, Christ is asking us the same question. Who do you say that I am? To confess that Jesus is the Christ is to adore him as the Son of God and to acknowledge his dominion over us. And if we confess Jesus to be the Lord, then we would also accept his teachings we will conform our lives to his precepts and commandments. To confess Jesus as the Christ has a lot of consequences for our lives, and there are many who are not ready to accept these consequences. A little story. Some of you may have heard of the Holy Shroud of Turin, the, cloth, the burial cloth that was wrapped around the body of Jesus in the tomb. On this shroud was miraculously imprinted the image of Jesus with all the marks of his passion and death. And this cloth is kept in the city of Turin in Italy, and every now and then it is exposed to public veneration. In 1978, the Archbishop of Turin gave permission, allowing qualified scientists from all over the world to inspect and conduct tests on the shroud. So there were about 40 men and women, all of them experts in their various fields. About two years later, this group of 40 men and women held a symposium to discuss their findings. And at that symposium, there was an incident. Someone stood up and asked the 40 scientists sitting on the stage, all who believe this is the authentic shroud of Christ, raise your hands. Everyone stared at him in silence. Nobody moved. Then he said, okay, all those who do not believe it is authentic, raise your hands. Once again, all the 40 men and women sat there staring at him in silence. No one moved. They knew that the shroud was authentic. They knew that the image on the shroud matched the account of the passion in the New Testament. But they did not have the courage to make that public affirmation. To do that would have been for them a professional suicide. The same thing happens today. Many of us are afraid to speak up for the truth. Many of us are afraid of Christ and to stand by his gospel. Now, we are influenced by the spirit of the world. Yes, there is a spirit in this world that refuses to acknowledge Christ, and that spirit reigns over the hearts of most men and women. We Christians instead 
must be moved by the Spirit of God. We must be willing to confess Christ and acknowledge him as our Lord. We must never be afraid to give witness to our faith wherever we may find ourselves, be it at school, at work, at home, in the midst of people, on the streets, wherever. We must never be ashamed of our faith in Christ. Let us ask our Blessed Mother to fill us with the spirit of her Son. She first conceived Christ in her womb, in her heart before conceiving him in her womb. May we also conceive Christ in our hearts and bring forth abundant fruits of grace and sanctification. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.